Today I want to make a quick video. I mean, having the question now coming out on the channel pretty often is where I should be mining to, what wallet I should be mining to an exchange, I should be mining to Coinbase. Well, let me give you a few tips and warnings uh, before you start mining. Hey, how are we doing, everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box CNT. This is the first time on the channel. You see the letter M right there? You're going to press it, and then you become part of Media Box Universe. Now, I've been having this question a lot, and, it's, and I want to make this video quick because it's very important. Uh, I have one of the questions. It's, I should be mining direct to Coinbase. Well, maybe you can use that for now, but I say no. And I'll tell you why no. Because you have to remember, anything you mine in, in to Coinbase and you live in the United States, you're going to be paying taxes because eventually they're going to look into it. They already look into the IRS. So you're going to be paying taxes if you mine and destroy to convey. So it says, I think it's not a best choice to do that. Besides, well, as well, let's say convey is pretty secure. Can I mine to an old exchange? You can mine to any address you want. But we know today the exchanges are pretty, you know, can be a problem. They can steal the tokens. There's something can go wrong in exchange. So I will say no right away to any exchange. If you have no other choice, then go. But two problems. One is not 100% secure. And the other one, if you live in the United States, eventually you're going to be paying taxes. What you should be mining to then? Well, the next choice, I will say, is it's a wallet application. I used to mine into Jack. Uh, kind of a lot, but I didn't like too much if you mine in or if you do micro payments. So what I did, I... I used to mine Ethereum clocks into the wallet, so I did payments of 10 tokens at a time. Um, you can do that. If the one you're mining is available there, uh, you can mine into a paper wallet, because in reality, you don't need to load up the, uh, your uh, address all the time. So you can create a wallet, create a paper wallet, and be offline all the time, and you can just mine into that paper wallet, and then the day you need to get your money out or sell tokens that you can move it up to anywhere. Uh, the best choice, and, and that's what I'm doing now, uh, is you have to get a hard wallet. You need to get a, uh, you can get the ledger, the tracer, whatever you like, uh, particularly uh, like the ledger. That's because I like it. I have no deals with this company or anything. And you can mine into this. The thing is, this will hold only few. In my case, I have a, a Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, and Litecoin. That's it. Oh, and uh, Ripple. That's the only things you can call it there. So if you have too many, you will have to get two of these or get something else. So this is the best choice. Just mine to this. Um, the private key is here. Nobody can take it ever. And then the only thing, nothing gets registered. And whatever you're mining, and if you mine, if you are a small miner. Uh, um, you can just mine to here. Now, if you have a big production, then well, then you want to pay taxes, or you want to deduct your power, you want to deduct all the stuff you're doing. It. But if it's something small as a hobby, well, I don't think you would like being paying a lot of taxes. Just mining one of these things it costs about sixty bucks. Right below the video, I have the link to my store, and you guys can buy it from there. So that will be pretty simple. Be careful where you mine into. I would say paper wallet will be the best choice. If you want to collect and hold your tokens, go to a paper wallet and something that is offline all the time. And the best choice will be a hard wallet. It can be the tracer or, or any other wallet. But these are the ones that I prefer like. So you can money to this. Now, if the token is not available in this wallet, the other choice you can do, open, open a wallet in your computer and then uninstall it. One, you have the key, the C, and you collect everything, and you have all the information. You just go and uninstall in the computer so you feel anyone can have your computer. Uninstall it. Keep, keep a print out all the C and all the codes offline, and then you just point it to there. It's the only thing you need to do. It's simple and easy. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.